in talking to people since my mission, there's a lot of things that I've learned that there's a lot of misconceptions about Madagascar. Um, so when I tell people, they're kind of shocked at how different Madagascar is from what they perceive it is. Um, one, Madagascar is not a small island. It's a very large island. It's twice the size of Arizona, or twice the size of Utah, a little bit bigger. Um, so it's, yeah, it's a big island. There are people on the island, and there's a lot. Um, there's 20, over 20 million people on the island. So, um, there's, you know, I'll, I'll have people say, you went to Madagascar on your mission? There's people there? It's like, yes, a lot. And they're awesome. <laughs> and it's, um, let's see, Madagascar has a lot of tropical regions, but it's also half desert. So there is a lot of dry places in Madagascar. Um, there's a lot of cool wilderness places, and that's people, you know, they'll watch documentaries of the cartoons, and they see the wilderness, and there, there's a lot of wilderness, and it's super pretty. There's the, the sp spiny forests and spiny deserts, and there's the stone forests, I guess they call it the tsingi. Um, so there's a lot of really cool places, but there's also really, really big cities, uh, massive cities. Uh, Tana has, depending on how you look at it or how you measure it, there's between what, two and a half to seven and a half million people, and it's it's a busy, crowded, bustling city. Lots of people I bump elbows a lot because there's so many people. Madagascar is the number one rice consumer per capita in the world. So, and I've, I heard it, and then I went and looked it up. So at least last time I looked up, looked it up, number one rice consumer per capita. So they beat China and they beat India. <laughs> um, you eat a lot of rice there, a lot, three meals a day, big pile of rice. Oh, another miscon misconception, misconception, there are no rhinos, elephants, lions, giraffes, hippos. They're, they're only in some parts of Africa and they're not in Madagascar. Uh, Madagascar has uh, obviously a lot of lemurs. As a missionary, you're probably not going to see a whole lot and you're probably not going to see any in the wild. Um, you might in certain towns, but you're not going to, they're not, you know, everywhere bouncing in the trees, especially not in the cities. Um, I never saw any wild lemurs while I was on my mission. Um, there are a lot of parks around, just kind of like nature reserves, and they, they feel wild, and you can go out there and see lemurs and even play with them. And uh, my mission president uh, took us out to one of these parks and let us play with them. And we, uh, the park guide gave us some bananas and some crackers and the lemurs were super friendly and we were able to break off pieces of banana and, and feed them. And uh, there's tricks, that, they're a little bit shy, but there's tricks to, to get them to jump on your shoulder. And we'd, we'd lean up against a tree and hold a banana out here and the lemur would jump on our heads or jump out to our arms and reach out and grab the banana. Um, so it's definitely, lemurs are my favorite animal. They're so adorable. They're so, they're so nice. Um, so lemurs are fun. I was only able to do that, you know, not very often because of time constraints, but maybe two or three times on the mission we were able to go play with lemurs on a P-Day or something. Um, Madagascar is known for its uh, chameleons, and there's tons of chameleons and those you'll find in the cities even and uh, you'll you'll see them everywhere and at first it's funny at first they're kind of shy and timid around you and they'll try and avoid you but after they kind of get used to you you can hold them and play with them and as long as 
you watch for the sh the signs, the warning signs, if they puff up, puff up their neck. If you watch for those signs, you'll know when they're going to bite you, and you know not to stick your hand in, in their face, because the missionaries have been bitten a lot. So I never got bit. I was careful. But it's it's fun if you uh, if you want a chameleon. Uh, if you want to see a chameleon, you can find little kids and hire them to go out and find chameleons for you. One time, uh, on a P-Day, me and my companion and our housemates, uh, the other two companions in, in the area, we uh, went out and said, we'll give you a hundred ariari, which is five cents per chameleon that you found. And we said it to a group of kids. And they're like, okay. And they ran out and they came back with 10 chameleons. <laughs> so I have a picture of me with, with all these chameleons on my shoulders and arms. And I'm just like, <laughs> but they're fun. They're a cool creature. There's some cool trees. There's some cool cacti. Um, there's Let's see. You might see a fusa, not in the wild though. Fusa is the the predator of the lemurs. It's a cat. So, but I only saw them in cages. <laughs> but yeah, I guess that's about it.